Hello everyone, it's Lindsley and we're talking infertility. Today I want to talk about the financials of infertility. It's a huge topic and my husband would laugh and he's going to laugh when he sees this because I hate talking about money and I'm terrible with money and um, yeah, so he's going to laugh at this. But it is really important as a couple or if you're doing this by yourself to sit down and plan out how much money you're going to spend on infertility. Um, even with IVF and things that they say, oh, this is the price, it's going to be more than that. It's just like a contractor with a house project, it's going to be more expensive because there's going to be prescriptions that you might not have expected that you're going to have to take. And you know, the doctor writes out the prescription, sends you on your way, you go to the pharmacy, and the next thing you know, they're like, okay, great, that'll be $642. And you're like, what the beep? Yeah, <laughs> it was like, really? Wow, thousands of dollars on drugs, thousands. And of course, nothing was covered under my insurance and we had great insurance. Um, God bless California, thanks a lot. Um, and you have to sit down and say, this is how much money we're gonna spend and this is the time frame we're going to do. The reason why is that I remember just out of college, I worked for this company and this woman um, and her husband had, I mean, they had hawked everything. They'd spent all their money. I think they'd done IVF um, three times and had still not gotten pregnant. And I mean, they were destitute. And so uh, the reason why a lot of couples have major stress from infertility is mostly due to financial, a lot of it. Um, and you spend all this money, you know, the past three years we've spent thousands and thousands of dollars with zero results, zero. At least with a contractor, you know, you buy a new kitchen and you get to go enjoy a new kitchen, right? Infertility, not so easy. Um, there are no guarantees. So you have to sit down and say, we're gonna spend X amount of money and we're going to, you know, do a year or we're gonna do six months and then we're gonna sit down and reevaluate together as a couple. Because a lot of women, you want a baby so badly, you'll do anything. You will lie, cheat, and steal. And the problem is, is that can affect your relationship with your significant other and it can also um, affect your um, stress levels. And then you might be going into a situation with a baby where you're not financially ready at all for a baby. So it's really important that you're both on the same page with financials and how much you're going to spend and um, how long you're going to take to try to get pregnant. It's, I can't tell you how important it is and it's extremely stressful no matter what. So you might as well make it a little less stressful by knowing where you're at together and that you have a plan and a budget. Okay, okay. This is the good, the bad, and hopefully the baby. Bye.